What's up vendors, Cosmic Vending back with another video and today I wanted to touch on an issue that I had with one of my gumball machines a few months ago and I just thought I would go over this and show you guys how to fix this issue in case it ever happened to you. So basically the issue that I was having was I went to take the lock off of my machine and I couldn't fit the key down in the hole because the lock was misaligned. You can see here how that notch in the middle doesn't line up with any of the four notches on the outside. Once you take your key out that notch should be lined up with one of the other notches uh, on the outside and you can see here in this picture in the top right corner that's how it should look once you take your key out of the machine. So here you can see me trying to put the key down in the lock so that I can unlock the machine but because those grooves aren't aligned that notch on the top of my key won't fit down into the lock. So because my lock was misaligned I ended up skipping the collection uh, for about a few months actually on this machine until I figured out how to fix it. Um, but I'm going to show you an easy way to fix this and you can do this and prepare yourself so that if this ever happens to you on location you're already set and prepared. So what I have here is a duplicate of that key and all I did was I took it and I shaved down that notch on the end of the key there and now it should be nice and smooth so it'll fit right down into that hole and you can turn it just however far you need to and those holes should be all lined up now. So now you can go back to your original key and test that out Make sure it fits down in there, you may have to give it a little wiggle, um, but you should be good to go now as if nothing ever happened. And I definitely recommend using your original key, that one that you grinded down technically will work, but it's better practice just to use the original key. And I'm going to show you how I did that, we're going to switch over to this video here. I apologize for the horizontal recording, uh, this was a little hard to do with uh, one hand occupied, uh, so just bear with me here, but I'm going to show you what I did. So like I said earlier in the video, you're just going to shave down that notch on the end of the key and it's probably best to use a file if you have one. I unfortunately didn't have one. So I just went outside and I used the sidewalk. Uh, any cement will work just fine. This metal on these keys is not anything uh, super tough. So cement will work just fine. And basically you're just going to keep rubbing it back and forth until that notch on the end is completely gone. You can see just how quickly uh, I've shaved it down already. And you're just going to keep going back and forth until that notch is all the way gone. It's pretty uh, simple, pretty straightforward. And I recommend doing this for each one of your keys. So for example, if you have three different types of machines with three different types of locks, I would do this for at least one of each of those keys. Chances are you have a spare for each machine, so I would just use those spare keys and shave them down. And then you can take them along with you when you go to do your collection. And if you ever have a misaligned lock, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, skipping a collection and you can service your machine right there on location and you don't have to worry about it. Hopefully this video helps you in some way and if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet please hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.